Welcome to the unboxing of Throw Throw Burrito. Uh, they got this in a Kickstarter. Uh, there are about three or four different versions of this. This is one I have not opened yet. You can see I've got my trusty knife in hand ready to cut through that uh, shrink wrap, the plastic that's surrounding it. Let's have a look at it. So Throw Throw Burrito, I like the, the way they've actually got this little see-through panel here where you can see the burritos that you get to throw. It tells you you throw these, points towards them, and it's made by the creators of Exploding Kittens. It's a party game for ages seven and above for two to six players. So that's the front cover. Uh, I do like it. It's It's got a nice lot of color going about it. Let's have a look at the top side, spin that around. You can see they're just uh, showing a couple of different burrito stances, one with boxing gloves, uh, one with a Western theme to it there. Turn it over, we have the same on that side and the same on that side. It says original edition and the same on that side. I uh, don't know, did I miss original edition on that front? I did not. So let's look at the back. It will show us a bit about the game, how it works there. Throw through burrito. It is, it is a dodgeball card game. A uh, little bit of a blurb there. I'll let you pause that, read that. You can see strong burrito there. It's for a family game night. Uh, and also for a grown-up game night. Uh, we've got uh, a fancy code that unlocks a bonus gift uh, that's inside and how it works is written there. I'll just scroll through that slowly. You can make it even slower on your screen or pause it so you can see how it is played. Let's open it up. Down the side there, down side number two, Downside number three, and finally downside number. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna make sure I don't get the box, which I think I got a little bit of on the side there. Oops, it happens to the best of us all. Okay, so let's turn that over, lift that, slide that box cover off. Underneath, we see the, the clear screen panel there and a bit of cardboard. Okay, put that off to one side. Now we have uh, two burritos. Let's bring these out. They're nice and squishy. They don't make any sound, but they are very soft and squishy. That sort of memory foam style, and they do come back to life. We have underneath them this Fear Me badge, probably for the winner to take a photo of and post on their uh, one of their social pages. A nice thoughtful slot there for hooking your fingers in to get them out. We have up here our little tokens and, and they can, might be able to just see there how um, that is indented. You just see they're indented to help keep these in place. So these are some cardboardy things. Now a little bit too tight in there at the moment. Maybe I should have slidden it out. It does have a little finger thing there. Uh, but these can be popped out, I assume for losers uh, that lose the fight. You can see there, both sides pretty much identical. You could pop them possibly back into the cardboard. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, you can pop them back into the cardboard. This time I'm gonna see if I can slide it in. A little bit better. Or you could just keep them, keep them, uh, pop them out and throw away that, that punch board, totally up to you. We have the rules, the instructions, how to play it. It's one of those fold out pamphlets. So there's, uh, I'll just show you um, that side and then that side. Uh, it says, hey, don't read these rules. Reading is the worst way to learn how to play a game. Instead, go online and watch the instructional video. Okay, so just open that up so you can see a little bit more. Uh, again, I'll show you a couple of uh, these columns at a time. So you can pause it, read it yourself, find out how to play it if that interests you. And the final uh, two columns on this side at least tells you about the battles ending, a battle starting, winning, the fear me token that's there, what happens if there's ties. Let's go on to this reverse side now, which is this way up. Uh, so similar sort of thing. Got battle rules, hitting, missing, and catching. They must have had a bit of a, a brainstorming session on how to present their rules. They decided there are two different ways one out, 
and they decide to put them both on, which is good, I think, actually, because uh, we've all got different learning styles. Put that over to that side. Now, what should we look at next? We have plastic bag, Ziploc bag for putting something in. Probably these tokens up here would make most sense to me. They obviously make other games, bears versus babies. You've got crabs exploding kittens uh, and high fives there. Um, now I've done this before with a, another version which I've got open which I'll show you what's in the box of. Um, it's pretty much I think just a $5 off and they've just put it across the board at the moment. So let's have a look. We've got two decks of cards here with uh, spaces underneath them. Again, probably for tokens if that's what you want. So let's go through this first pack. Now I'm looking for, as you know, one of those easy to open tabs. I can see one just there. I don't know if you just sort of see that just above my finger there, that tab there. See if I can slide my finger in there. Bring it all the way around. Come on. Oh, it's not going to do that nicely. That's okay. I can finish it off by sliding my knife in there. And then just taking this plastic off. There we go. Away with that plastic. So that's the back side or the reverse side of these cards. They are all identical. Quite a nice uh, colouring, a vibrant scheme they've got here. Let's have a look at the cards we have here. We have Floaty Goatee. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those. And Meow Cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So for two to six players, obviously they've got uh, enough for two for each person that's there. And they've got a nice linen finish. Just want to show you that as well. And they feel nice. Um, a little less sturdy than some of the cards I've, I've uh, had from other games. But uh, still, nonetheless, it should do the job. Although, as a pass, pass the card game, which is what this is, um, I'd probably prefer something a bit, bit stronger. You probably would like to sleeve them just to give them more longevity. Let's have a look at these next cards. The Burrito Brawl card is green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those Burrito Brawl in that colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Burrito Duel in a sort of brownie colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And Burrito War. Look at that. Burrito War. This is war. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. So that's that first pack of cards. I'll put them back and again, like the fact they've got these little finger slots, we can pull them out. Uh, we'll have a look for a little, there it is there. I'll see if I can pull it off better this time. Slightly better. Uh, it didn't go all the way around, which would have been nice. So that's some sort of, um, I don't know what you call that. It's not printers, not packaging either. But the people who produce that plastic, I think they'd uh, like them to go back to the drawing board to have a look at uh, making it so that that plastic comes all the way off and allows you to bring all the plastic off nice and neatly. And that's just a little aside. Let's go through these cards. We have the Goth Sloth. There you go. These are my words. Allow me to read them to you slowly. Journal of... Darkness, All right down there, original edition. So this is the original edition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those. Jelly, jelly, where were you last night, Cheryl? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 of those. Licky Chicky. Please stop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Interesting little thing they've got down the bottom there. It looks a bit like a pram, doesn't it? Okay, Barky Sharky. Got the, bark, the, the shark there going, woof, woof. I'm a good boy. And there's the little telltale sign down the bottom. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just want to do this properly to make sure I don't miss anything. Logger dogger. There's a dog with an axe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that is everything in the box. It should probably lift it up just to, oh, there's a bit of plastic there, just to make sure if I can. I'm going to take you guys out, just make it easy for me to lift this whole thing up. And nothing underneath it, just checking, because you never know sometimes. And that, in you go, my throw throw burrito friends. That is the game. Oh, oh this little slot there, which helps these rules to go in nicely as well. Throw throw burrito, original edition from the Kickstarter many, many moons or years ago. Uh, Look, fun game. Buy it if you like party games, if you like having fun, um, movement, activity, um, dexterity type of game. Uh, and it's one of those, as I keep saying, enjoy your gaming. This is one we can really enjoy your gaming. So please do with these. Uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button if you found this useful as well. And also the like button and share with your friends, please. I'm Lamond signing off. Thank you very much for joining me.